Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode four of my 1.20 Let's Play, like it's 2010 again. Well, guys, we have completed quite a bit for four episodes. Well, three technically. This is going to be the fourth. CBC SOG. If you don't know what that is, you got to go watch episode three. It's a cherry blossom cow sanctuary of greatness. Look at that, dude. Look, look how ungreat that cow sanctuary is at the moment. Uh, it's, uh, it's not great. It's not great. But we're going to be fixing that today, guys. We are going to bring them over to their home where they always wanted to be the cherry blossom forest. So how are we going to accomplish this? You know, there's all that, there's all those, those particles in the cherry blossom forest. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll run over there while I talk. Um, essentially, I guess the cherry leaves kind of spawn these little falling petals and they look beautiful, but I can only imagine the lag when we have thousands and I'm, yes, I'm serious. Thousands of cows in this area. Plus the particles from all the trees. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. We need to also survey the land a little bit um, to to figure out, you know, exactly how are we? Because we don't want cows in here. <laughs> we don't want cows ending up in there. I think that's where I think that's where we initially started caving. Um, so we're gonna have to, like fence off certain areas, and I'm sure we're gonna have cow leaks and have cows going in in all different directions. But this is gonna like take probably the entire episode. Um, I don't want it to be the entire biome. But like, like for example, like we can't have cows over here, so we'll have to like fence this off, and I don't know, it's it's gonna be tricky. But in preparation for this, I have farmed quite a bit, and I mean quite a bit. I might kill three sheep. Is there three sheep around here? I see three. Um, I have been farming quite a bit of cherry wood because we're gonna need a lot of cherry wood fence, obviously. Um, we might need other materials that I'm not like thinking of so far, but. I haven't felt this excited about a project in a while, man. I, I've been logging in uh, to the world and just kind of playing it sporadically because I just, I don't know, dude. I, wa I want to find stuff to do. You'll see, you'll see in a second how excited I've been to play this world by, based on how many ideas I have written down on these signs. And uh, the signs are in the bottom half of my castle, so the, the bottom floor. Now, a good thing that we did, a very, very good thing that we did. I crafted new tools, first of all. That's not the good thing. The good thing is I moved everything from the chest in our hole in the wall, literally, to the dungeon of our castle. I don't want to call it the dungeon because I kind of want to build a dungeon. Oh, you'll see. I'll meet you guys at the castle. Well, I also figure I should show you. Like, I haven't sat AFK on this world since the last episode. I've, I've been in the game for so long that we have this much bamboo plus what's in that chest and then you got to remember what's in that hopper right there too so we have quite a bit of bamboo if i do say so myself i'm very happy with how the chest storage turned out in the castle it was kind of cool having that big like chunk of storage in the middle i don't know if you guys remember what i'm talking about um now in a desperate attempt to get a lot of wood i did start to plant saplings outside of the planters we will not keep them like this um, but I just, dude, I needed wood so bad because I realized how much fence we're going to have to make. <laughs> like, we're, we're going to need, like, an absolute... Because I, I want them to be up there. Like, I want the cows to be everywhere. We're going to need, like, an insane amount of fence. And I'm going to change this. This has just been bugging me since day one. So, you know what we're going to do? Going out and then in. It's just... It's fine if it's just one in the middle. Obviously, we're going to have, like, a moat and we're going to have, like, some sort of piston contraption. Um... But like at the moment, we don't have either of those. And we'll just go ahead and put the fence gate there. I just need one piece of fence. And look at this. It's nice and organized. I know you guys are probably so happy. You're like, Neo, you finally organized. That is so great. It actually is super nice, man. It's 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 been a dream being able to like, oh, I know this is in here and this is in here. And it's just been really nice. Um, I hear a wandering trader. These are all the ideas. This is just for me sitting down for like 10 minutes one day and just putting ideas down. I mean, really, I'd run in here at any point. That's why I have the, the blue dye on me. I think I used literally all the blue dye out of this side. But yes, dude, we are going to make a nether castle like the old school days. It's not going to be anything fancy, but in the first ever real Let's Play I did on the channel like four or five years ago, maybe six years ago now, we, we did a nether castle. And we had big problems with the, the zombie pigmen too. But yes, if you want to pause it here, you can. 
that's not everything we're going to do. That's just like a few things. I may add a bunch of these to the description of the video. I don't know if I'll end up using that list or not. Um, but there we go. Now we finally can just... Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> it's so much better. But yes, I want to focus on the cows today because... I don't... It's not that I want mending. It's just I, I keep... Also, these tools are literally so low. They're just taking up inventory space. I'm just going to... There we go. I know that makes some people mad, but to be honest, dude, come on. Come on. You could get mad about some some stuff I do in the game for sure, but that's probably not one of them. We're going to keep a temporary bed on us. Uh, we should make it a cool color, so we'll do light blue. Um, let's see. Which one of these is animal drops? Okay. And then we'd put fence in there, and then we would put this in there. But yes, my chests are very organized. I had to make a separate chest for the cherry blossom saplings. All right, so what I'm going to spend, and this is all the wood we have. It's probably not enough, but I'm going to spend the next little bit making myself, making myself a lot of fence. So, I'll see you when I'm done making fence. I, I'll probably make all of that into fence, but the problem is, is I'm not sure, like, how much other materials we're going to need. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure if I'm going to need some sort of, like, support materials. And I'm probably not going to end up making all of this in the fence because you, you, there's just no way. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'll meet you guys in a bit. Okay, so that's all the fence we need. Oh, it's a rainy day. It's a rainy day. Hold on. Hold on. Video settings. We're going to put it on low. There we go. Ah. Oh, it's pretty dark down here. <laughs> oh, it's really dark right here. Uh... I need glowstone, to be honest with you. I, I really do. Do we not have, like, smooth lighting on? You notice the fences don't have smooth lighting. They're, like, old-school lighting. Like, they're just, like, different shades. It's so weird. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, we have a lot of fence. That's great. I think the rest of my inventory is going to be just, uh... We, we don't need sticks. I will take a few chests. Probably take, like... As many as I'm comfortable just putting down for random stuff, so probably two. And then the rest will just be wood, because we have enough food to sustain for a while. Yeah, that should be good. Um, okay. So, I'm not sure how this is going to go, okay? I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not sure. It's a nice, calm, rainy day. Good day for planning, that's for sure. Um, now, obviously, like, I know the basics, like, we're going to take the cows and we're going to put them over there. But beyond that, I'm really not sure. Okay, well, I think it would be smart if we went over to the Cherry Blossom and kind of started to outline where we want this thing to go. Uh, now, obviously, the cows, I'll just make like a fenced little path from here to over there, and we'll just kind of let them wander it, right? We're, we're not going to force them to go over there. If they want to stay in their home sanctuary, that's fine. Um, so we'll go up the mountain here. And then I think we'll start the sanctuary kind of up here. Because, again, I kind of want it to border. The problem is this is not all cherry blossom. But I want it to like, I want it to be this whole thing. I don't know if I, like, misrepresented how big I want this thing to be. Uh, but I want it to be pretty huge. So I don't know if we'll film a ton of this. Because it's literally just going to be me putting fence down. But we're definitely going to, like problems I have. We'll show those because I'm sure there's going to be quite a few. Um, and I already kind of messed up here. See, it's tricky, right? Because on an area like this, I guess I just want to stack the fence. But the cows can't jump, right? You know, you can jump out, but the cows can't jump out. Mobs might be an issue, so we'll have to light up this whole area. Do we want to use torches? Like, what <laughs> What do we want to use to light it up? Do we want to put, like, some sort of logs on the corner blocks? I think that's that, that, that kind of texturing stuff we'll end up doing after the fact. See, I don't know if I want them... I don't want them able to go on the mountains over there. So this will just be kind of like a viewing area for them. They can view that. And then they'll come over here. I'm just going to try to like outline a little bit. Now, like issues like the caves. So we'll, we'll just put like a little fence like every... Every like few blocks, right? And th if, it's a, if it's an area that's questionable, I'll kind of outline it. But, like, beyond that, I'm going to know where most of the fence is going to go. Okay, that's that's going to be a little annoying. They, they should have made it where you can put it directly on top. I'm not sure why they didn't. Um, okay. And so, we want it to go over here, obviously. 
Under, oh man. Because most things like grass, you can just put it in there, it just replaces it. But this, you can't. Um, I'm excited to see how this looks on a nice sunny day. We'll just kind of bend the fence going up to there. And then, do we want, do we want them on this hill? Let's, let's see what's on top of the hill. Obviously we want them on top of the hill, but I mean, do we want them on the hill that I'm like standing on and climbing right now? Um, sure. It might be a little bit tricky. Oh my goodness. It might be a little bit tricky, but I think we can make it work. It's just more of a question of, <laughs> oh goodness. I've never built anything for animals this big. I feel like when people build like a cow farm or something, it's always so tiny. <laughs> this is it's a good idea. You guys should do this in your world and give your cows a nice big sanctuary. You know, I call it the you know CBC SOG, but what about the sheep that are there? We're just kind of totally forgetting them. Now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad now. Okay, so we'll include this, but I don't want to go any lower than this. Um, I think it's about to be dark, which is probably good because it is kind of dark in game. So the problem is I don't want to stay down here because then the cows can like fall onto the fence and get out of here. We, we kind of want to keep them like up here. I guess this will have to be there eventually anyways. Okay. I'm going to sleep. We're going to see. We're going to wake up on a new day that's nice and bright. I'll see you then. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes for me because it might be really bright. And I want you to slowly open them when I say so, okay? All right. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, now slowly open your eyes or, or, or it's really going to hurt. <laughs> okay, well, welcome back, guys. You know, it's a nice, bright day in the CBC SOG. Everything's looking great. Look at this. We we. It's kind of hard to see where the fence is outlining it because, you know, it's, it's all like fence. But, yes, we have quite a distance. I need to stop my room, but hold on. I think you can hear Mr. Roomba working. Can you hear him? He's driving by. What's it say? Everyone say hi, Roomba. Yo, what's up, my guy? How about you stop cleaning? Okay, the Roomba job is paused. You know, I'll be honest. The the So if you don't know what Roomba is, it's a vacuum that's a robot that drives around and vacuums and, and cleans your house, kind of. Does it work well? People always ask me. I, I think, yes, it works pretty well, especially if you have cats like I do and they, and they kind of, you know, leave their hair everywhere. I think it's a great investment. For some people, I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, if your house is one story like mine, you should get one. They can be expensive, but the time you save alone is worth it. Okay, so now like an area like this, how, how, do, how, do, how do we do this? Do we want them coming over to the, the peak over here? And is there any like sort of issues? I mean, I haven't really been over here in a while. It's a nice open area over here. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like this. I think this is going to be the weed out episode. So if you guys don't know what like a weed out class is in college, it basically gets the people out who don't, who shouldn't really be there because it's really hard or something. It's basically like setting the bar for how academically far you should be in a specific like degree or something. So this is going to be kind of the weed out episode for viewers that don't like slower paced stuff because man... I think a lot of it I said I would do off camera, but I have been on camera placing fence now for too long. I think we're going to exclude this corner. I think we're going to, honestly, we're going to exclude this corner. I'm just kind of building these as paths to connect, if that makes sense. I'll connect all these fence. Uh, we definitely want to come down here. So it's going to be a little tricky. A lot of diagonal fence. Um, it'll, it'll end up working. I'm sure we're going to have many cow leaks. Uh, and what I mean is cows that literally leak out of our sanctuary. So that's going to be a little bit, a little bit tricky. Now, obviously we can modify stuff. Like if we don't want that to be an issue, we can just break that. I'll do a lot of this stuff off camera too. Like the little stuff. Okay. So we want them to come over here. Yes. Come over here. That's fine. They can even make their way over here and, and look over the beautiful plains biome. Um... I don't know if I want them going down over there. I mean, this thing's already going to be absolutely freaking lootly massive, dude. They'll come over here. That's a big no-no. We don't want them going in there. Uh, we probably want to modify this terrain a little bit. Or we can just have the fence come up to here. 
But then we need to do this. Okay. And then have the fence come up to here. Okay. I think you guys kind of get the point. I don't know if I want to do any more on camera. I'm just going to watch YouTube and place fences <laughs> down. Um, whenever I feel like I have them all put down, I'll come back. And then we'll start leading the cows over here. Because, yes. There's only so many things I'm thinking of to talk about while building a giant fence. And it's getting hard. I'm running out of... Oh, I'm running out of ideas. Dude, this... <laughs> Is this a mistake? Comment down below. Is this a mistake? I, I want to know. Are we ever going to need this many cows? Is this going to lag our world out? Luckily, it's far enough away from our house. So I don't think we're going to have an issue with lag. I think our biggest issue is going to be... Haters. I think we're going to have the cow sanctuary of greatness haters. I think that's the issue. Yeah, so we, we don't want it to go outside the cherry forest because that's just a big no-no. How can we call it the Cherry Blossom Cow Sanctuary of Greatness if it's not in the Cherry Blossom Forest? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we're going to use so much fence doing this. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, <clears throat> first issue. Um, I can kind of see the fence over here. I went down over here um, and just kind of captured this little... I may have made a mistake. We may end up actually changing this because I don't know if we need to really go down there actually. Uh, but we do we do have one sort of problem. We need to make a bridge. Is it a problem? No. We're going to make a beautiful bridge out of cherry wood. It's, it's going to be nice. Hopefully I can end up making it look good. I have a history with bridges. I feel like uh, in the Let's Play, I'm kind of emulating with this one. I mean, not really, but it, the episode that lasted 129 episodes, um, I had a bridge. It was nice, okay? It was a nice looking like suspension type bridge, which just means it has like supports on top that are holding it up. It looked really cool. I'm just not sure I can I can go that hard, but I can make it look pretty cool, okay? I can make it look pretty cool. It was definitely a mistake to go down here. There's monsters. I hear them creeping and crawling around. It would have just been a pain because cows would have gotten stuck down there. We can't have stuck cows. This is the this is the cherry blossom cow sanctuary of greatness. This isn't the cherry blossom cow sanctuary of stuck cows. It's not. Okay, I promise you. Um. Okay, so that's all the fence down. So what I'm gonna do is just have it come over here, kind of like where I am now, and we'll just have it ride around up top like this. Sounds good. Okay. So then we go over here. We go over here. Now, the issue is, is that there's a big hole and like, we definitely don't want the cows going like over there. I mean, this is inside of it. <laughs> I think we're going to have to, oh, this is inside of it. <laughs> um, mm, we may have to like se section, section this area off a little bit. I don't know, man. This, this project's turning out to be huge. Like I said, I, I, I knew it was going to be huge, but oh, it's just now coming to fruition in my head. How truly large this will be. It's not that hard to block off the, like, just a little section on the inside. Uh, but either way, we're going to need to be able to get from, like, to here to there. Um, especially if we do end up blocking it off. So, we're going to put down a double chest. Oh, not a bed. We're Bro, what am I doing? Okay, we're going to put down a double chest. We're going to put the bed up. We don't need those. We only really need an axe. Okay, maybe we need the shovel and the pickaxe. Okay, I don't know. But it's the fence. We don't need all the fence. Okay, impromptu crafting table. Okay. I'm going to assume I'm going to want a lot of slabs. We'll make those off the bat. I'm going to assume we're going to want a lot of stairs, so I will make those. And then I'm also just going to assume... I, I don't know. I mean, we don't have any cobblestone, so we could go down here and mine a little bit. Because we'll probably want like some sort of like you know cobblestone supports on this bridge something like that but no yeah we <laughs> we, don't, we definitely don't want the cows in here this is a little this is a little too dangerous for them I'll take the emerald off the bat um we'll probably want to like light these caves up too oh it's gonna be nice though i don't know how having i don't know how a minecraft world will handle having thousands of cows but we're sure as heck gonna find out we are sure as heck gonna find out another emerald man that's really nice okay so let me mine a bunch of cobblestone and then when i'm done i'll come back I just realized we might not even end up using stone, but it's always fun to gather stone. 
what is fun to get, you know put on a YouTube video, put on my video, okay, and then start gathering stone. It just it, it's fun, right? It's so fun. You should just watch me and gather stone. Um, so I I feel like we could use this cherry blossom tree, but I don't want it to be like the main support. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna build the bridge like over here. Um, so what I'm gonna use the cobblestone for is building like a foundation for where the bridge is gonna go. Which won't be ugly, I, I I promise you. It's so weird. Mojang, you gotta, you gotta, if you're gonna make one thing, you gotta do the other. Like, if I can do this, I should be able to do that, but I can't. It's so weird. So something like this, we'll make it look good from the side, just so that the bridge has like a support, right? Something like that. And then it's gonna be diagonal, which is always a little bit tricky. It's gonna be straight. <laughs> It's going to be straight. Um, so we do need a little bit of fence just so that we can kind of mark off a few things. Uh, because like I said, we, we definitely don't want the cows like going in this. So we'll kind of bring the fence, I guess, like right here. Yeah. See what I mean? And then we'll just kind of connect it right there. And then we'll prevent them from going in that section at all. It will just go straight over to here, which means I think... A two block wide fence is a little small, so let's just increase the size a little bit. So the fence would be this wide, there'd be fence on this side and fence on this side. Yeah, three blocks wide is probably the way to go. So that means the middle of the bridge will be over here. So the midpoint between these is probably somewhere around here. So we'll go ahead and just build up a support a little bit. Um, and then we can just kind of, we, we can already play with the slabs and kind of figure out the pattern we want to do. I'm going to go up a little bit like this. How I build bridges is I'll basically build the middle like spline of the bridge. And then I'll kind of finish the rest of it. So we'll go up again. One more slab. Oh, one more slab like that. And that should be good. And then what I'll do is I'll only place slabs on the top half. So if there's, a, if there's a full block there, only on the top half like this. And this will just be for the middle. Obviously the sides we'll have to build in a second here. So something like that. Now it only works going up. If you want to go down, uh, follow the way a different YouTuber. I don't know how to go down. <laughs> we'll just we'll just start off over here. You just gotta remember where the, ooh, you gotta remember where the middle block is. So like right there, okay. So that means we need one over here as well. Now, someone said, Neo, you shouldn't be, you know, mixing the cherry blossom and uh, the cobblestone. You know, cherry blossom is kind of an old school block. And I do tend to agree with you somewhat, but also I, I just, I've always liked cobblestone, man. I, I can't, I can't, I just can't give up on it. It's too, it's too nice. It's too nice. So I'm trying to make sure we make it up to that slab level in time. I think we will right here. There we go. It's perfect. Okay. Nice. I didn't do what I said on the... On the full blocks there, but luckily there's only, I think, two? Yeah, there's only two. Because you kind of want the middle to look thicker, if that makes sense. Because that's like the most supported section of a bridge. Is it? I don't know. I'm sure... I wonder if any architects watch my videos. They probably just like have like an internal like error every time they watch my videos. They're like, uh, oh, dude. Um... So again, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I've never claimed to be a bridge expert. This is gonna be a nightmare to copy. I gotta I gotta figure out a pattern for it. The trick to building and, and making it look good is you gotta figure out some sort of like pattern, because otherwise you're just not gonna be able to reproduce. Cause if I try to put one there, that's fine. But then if I wanted to do the same thing like here, it's gonna go on the one below it. So it's hmm. Maybe, maybe that's the trick. Just put a log on the top half of every block, which the top half of some of these is down a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, like this. There we go. And then we will figure out something for the edges, of course. But if we can follow this pattern, then we'll be good. Yeah, okay, it's working out. It's working out top half, top half. Boom. Nice. Okay. So I am kind of like, this is just completely random. I have a call with my, with my, with a counselor from my college. Not like a counselor, like a, 
what is it like an advisor they call it in college it was a counselor in high school where they kind of help you figure out what to do with your college because I took the last year off of college I'm like I went on my degree planning thing which is like a little website and it says I'm 91% of the way there and I stopped because I could not handle running Neo Network my server and a YouTube channel and so I took the last, last year I worked still worked like a ton right uh, Neo Network was a lot of work for me um, but I'm going to go back to college. I need to, I need to go back. There's no point in getting 91% of the way there and then stopping. So I am going to go back. I know, I know it's going to make a lot of people in my family happy. It's going to make my wife Lauren happy and it's going to make me happy. I, I had an attitude towards college for a while. I was like, you know, I already make good money. There's no point in me going back and like, you know, I don't need it. But you know, if this was to ever go away in the future, uh, you know, if this was all ever to go away in the future, I need some sort of backup plan. You just, you, it's just a good idea. So if you're out there, maybe this will give you some motivation to finish college if you're in a position like me where you just didn't finish it for whatever reason. I know there's there's just a plethora of reasons for people not finishing. Um, okay, besides the point. But yes, I'm expecting a call from my advisor in like 15 minutes. So I'll have to pause that video whenever that happens. I'm trying to think. I mean, obviously that one support is a little, a little bit too little. So we'll go ahead and add a few more here just so the bridge doesn't look like it's going to fall down. Okay, look straight up, that's right here. Nice. Oh yes, a torch, that's what I wanted there. Um, and then we'll do like fence to kind of support it under. It's, it's, it, it's a wash, however you wanna do the fence, man. It's not like it's gonna really matter. Um, ideally, you'd want it to kind of connect somewhat, but then you might run into an issue like that, but. I still think that looks good. I don't think it looks bad. But with the fence, it's always a little bit uh, so it's always a little bit tricky because sometimes it'll like connect and it, and it may not look totally normal. But that's okay. It's Minecraft. It's not supposed to look totally normal. Um, and I do. I'm kind of having the realization that the logs on the side are actually kind of a blessing in disguise because that means that we can go ahead. No one's gonna know. Um, we can go ahead and just put fence on the edges. Sorry, my cat is playing with the toy. I always say sorry, but I don't really think you guys care if, if the audio is not absolutely perfect. If there, there's gonna be noises in, in a house that has other living things in it. Like I used to pause the recording, like if my wife was filling up her water, for instance, but now I just don't. I'm just like, just go ahead. It doesn't matter. I feel like it, it makes the recording feel more alive. So we'll put the fence here, but then I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna add a few more touches We're not just gonna leave it like that like that would look really weird Mainly because the logs are just sticking straight out. That's kind of what's what's bugging me the most right now So we'll find out what we can do on that whether it's trap doors or, or something So the cows can't get out of this which is good. I mean that's like the whole point of the of the bridge Okay um you know, it is just for cows. We're not going to see it very much, but I still want it to look good. I'm thinking maybe we put like a log, like every time it goes up, we put a log going up. Every, the first block of it going up will be a log. Nah, because then, then it might look weird. We'll just try it. Because then there'd be two there. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's leave it like this for now. We'll come back to the bridge in a bit. I, I want to get the actual sanctuary built. I don't think it looks bad. It just, it, the log sticking outward definitely throw me off a little bit. Hmm, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somehow I feel better if they're stripped. Someone said, Neo, you don't need to strip the logs off of the build. Just put them on the build and then strip them. And I was like, why did I not do that before? <laughs> I would like place them on the ground in a big grid and I would strip them, pick them up and then put them where they're supposed to go. You just put them where they're supposed to go and strip them in place. That's like, like why, why not do that? Okay. That are, that, that already to me looks a lot better. It's not the best bridge in the world, but guys, we can't, we don't, we don't have time to build the best bridge. Oh, Ooh, the cobblestone. No. Okay. Hold on. The cows, you know, at some point might need this cobblestone and iron, so we'll leave it in a chest here. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, though, like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. What is filling my inventory? It's those. We don't need those. They might need an emerald. 
They might. You can't tell me they, they won't. They might need a crafting table too. Okay. So that means we get to block off the entirety of kind of the middle of this thing. So that's the only kind of tricky part now is we're going to have to figure out where can we go back. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So we have to go quite a distance around here. Interesting. Um. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, we may just wanna kinda go over here and then, cause cows can't really go up super steep blocks, but this is fine, this is actually fine right here. Just realize this is like perfect for fence. It'll literally just go like that. There we go, nothing better. And then immediately end right there, but then open up again. And they can, sure, they, they I, I think they're gonna have enough room. I think they're gonna have enough room. I need to stop being like so like strict about where the walls of this fence are. Okay, and then they'll come back over there and then we'll have this whole area sanctioned off. We'll probably want it to be like more over here. Yeah, this'll work. But then they can come over here. Okay, I gotta just do this. Aha, okay, we've made it full circle. <laughs> we don't have nearly enough fence, man. I'll, I'll be the executive decision maker here. I mean, dude, this thing, it truly is like the entire biome. I, I, I'm curious, can I go up on like a pole in the middle and kind of like find where all the fence is? I think, I think that would be a good idea, just so we can get a little visual overview. I think the bridge is kind of in the middle in a way. But now I will, I will, I actually will connect it all off camera. I'm not going to come back and be like, surprise, let me build up pretty tall here. Oh, dude, the cows are going to be so happy. They're going to be so happy. They can eat those flowers. They have a lot of vitamin C, I've heard. Okay. I think we're up here high enough. So, that's really hard to see the fence. Um, you can see the fence goes over there. Right, you can see the fence, and it goes around this, over there, and then the rest of it's kind of hidden over here. But it, you can see some fence like in the middle of my screen. I'm gonna try to hold it still so it'll make the pixels actually load in, and it goes all the way over to there. Right, it basically goes around this entire thing, man. This whole thing, minus the middle that we're gonna kind of section off a little bit. Right, so. The fence goes over here, so it cuts off that little corner, and then it'll like, you know, this thing will be cut off fully. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, this whole thing will be filled with cows. Okay. I'm going to connect it all, so next time you see me, it will all be connected, and we're going to bring the cows over, and we're going to see what happens. This is going to be, oh, this is going to be an adventure, man. Well, the advisement appointment call went good. I do have to reapply to the university to go back because after a year you have to reapply, but that's okay. So I've been filling in fence. We're, we're getting low on fence, which is kind of scary because we haven't done that much. I'll kind of take you along the path. Okay, we've done like maybe a quarter or a third, probably more like a third. I mean, <laughs> this thing is freaking huge. I don't think you guys realize like... Maybe it doesn't come off on camera right. It's it's a video game. It looks the exact same as how I'm seeing it. But like, dude, this thing is massive. Why do we need this area for the cows? What are we doing? It's kind of cool though. I mean, it's not something I've ever done in Minecraft before. Usually I do, everyone just has their little fenced off area where they breed them and they get like super populated in this little tiny area and then you kill them every once in a while. But we're not doing that this time. We're, we're going to give them an actual area to live in like, like you would in real life. And maybe that's where it's, maybe that's where it's a little bit special. So yeah, we're kind of coming back around to where we start, which is over there. <laughs> I can't, I can't dude. I can't. <laughs> it goes all the way around this whole thing. Are, are we going to have leaks where cows can get out? Oh, the answer is yes. We're going to... And solving them is not going to be fun. Like, trying to figure out where the cows escaped is going to be a nightmare. We're, we might need to live stream doing it. 
like figuring out where the heck the cows are where where are they getting out because oh our, our little castle looks so insignificant now and so people were dogging on me for the castle they were like it looks so bad i mean yeah i mean it's not my favorite build in the world but i really like it so it's my house and i'm gonna live there Maybe we can upgrade it in the future. Who knows? But I'm not trying to do anything. I feel like every time I quit a series, it was because I was building a mega project and it was just too much. And I, I'm not going to do that. This isn't, this doesn't feel like a mega project. I mean, it is, but we're just putting fence down. Oh, that was all the fence we had. <laughs> I thought we had fence in here for some reason. No, no, no. We, we don't have any fence in there. Oh, that's great. Okay, well now we get to figure out, are we gonna farm more cherry wood or what's next? <laughs> uh, I really am. I'm just gonna let the cows kind of wander over here on their own time. We'll, we'll build the path, which we need to save some fence for that, uh, but we'll just let them wander. We haven't really explored over there. I, maybe, maybe in the next episode, we'll do some exploration because I do want to know exactly what's around here. We have the village over there. There's a, there's a pillager outpost another village beyond the pillager outpost and then i think that's pretty much it our spawn point was over there somewhere but like there's a lot of stuff around here that we just have not really looked at we've been so engrossed in our own our own little uh i don't know if i want to call it a mission objective that we haven't really looked around I'm sorry, guys. I know it's not comfortable in there. If you guys only knew what I'm doing for you, if you only knew how comfortable you're about to be. Now, I am kind of scared that the cows will all end up in like one spot, but hopefully their AI will wander appropriately and they'll just kind of, you know, end up everywhere and not just in one little spot. But if they end up in a spot, I'll dig a st Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. We might not have, yeah, that's, um, yeah, we might not have enough. We might not have enough. I don't know if we have enough. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I don't think, I don't, I honestly don't think we'll have enough fence. But it's fine. I mean, we can go craft more. It's just like, all, wh what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this like as much as I can until I run out of fence, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to use all this fence. If we run out, we'll go just get more. Or I'll do it off camera or something. I don't think you guys want to see me mine the cherry trees. But look, look at this canopy. It's just straight solid, solid cherry blossom. They're kind of a hard tree to farm. You know, after spending a few hours farming them, I will admit they're a little tricky to farm just due to the nature of how, like, uh, you know, you can stand and, and, and you have to, like, build blocks up to be able to break them. But this is a thick cherry tree forest. This You can basically do what, what happens in a dark oak forest, you know, where it's, like, solid. You could do that with cherry wood. You could make a cherry wood forest that's just completely solid. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we and I feel like at some point, I don't know if we'll do it in an episode or in between episodes. I want to add something in the fence, like maybe some little supports, like, you know, like a couple of logs here and there or something cuz it's just straight fence, which is fine. I'm not like unhappy with that. It just needs a little bit more. Oh, but if I don't ever end up adding to it, it'll be okay. Okay, well, I'm going to place fence, and uh, I'll come back when the fence is totally done. This should be exciting. Guess what? The last few fence. And did we have enough fence? We'll find out in a second. Yeah, we did. We have a little bit extra, which is probably good. Okay, so this whole thing is fenced off. Oh, dear God, what have I created? What in the world was I thinking? This thing is massive. This whole area over here... I mean, this is all part of the fence tent thing. But you guys didn't even really get to see this whole area over here is massive, dude. This thing, this thing is a little bit larger than I probably should have made it. I mean, it, it, this is just that fence blocking off the, uh, blocking off the cave in the middle, right? But it goes like all the way over here and, and, and it goes all the way over to, the freaking over there. I mean, like, <laughs> I can't believe we made this. 
Okay, let's unleash the cows. This is this is the part we've all been waiting for. Unleashing of the cows. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um just in terms of, you know, logistics, you know, how long are the cows going to take to meander their way over here? I'm not sure. I mean, we can always lead them with wheat if they are too slow. But I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I kind of want to do it by hand. Um, I also kind of misjudged the distance between. Now, I haven't found any caves in here. Oh, there's a cave. Oh, <laughs> no entry for the cows. Is. You know what we're going to do? We're going to be a little bit bad. And we're just going to fill this in. Because we don't. We could try to fence it off. It's just going to take a crap ton of fence. And nobody has to know. Nobody has to know. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, now, uh, that is something we're gonna wanna like make sure before any of this happens. Like, is there any places where the cows can just you know, you know, see you later like that? Like, that's not that's not right. <laughs> that's not good. Like, are there any spots in here where there's a cave, perhaps, or like, this is just not that's just not good. You could just walk off. And I don't think I realized that on some of these corners, but it's okay. I think we'll have enough cows to where a little bit of spillage is okay. And we can always, you know, entice them to come back home through uh, a little bit of a little bit of wheat. They love it. Okay. So I think we'll bring them in somewhere over here. I don't like that. Um, I'm not sure where. I don't like that. It's, it just looks too natural. Is this a cave? Yo, do we just do we just like completely just forget that there's a giant cave here? <laughs> uh, I think I think we just completely forgot about the giant giant hole here. Okay, so how do we do this? Do we surround it in fence, or do we kind of break that fence and then cut it around out? Or do we want the cows underground? <laughs> but if they go in here, will they ever get out? Oh no, they'll never get out. I remember. Remember, this is the f the first cave we found. It's uh, yeah, they would never get out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Do we really want the cows going in there? I don't think so. And we're getting shot at by skeletons. So, yeah, I'm just going to. We don't have enough dirt to like just build a wall here. So I guess it's just a matter of. I mean, the cows won't. Hmm. What we could do is just build a fence like... Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to build a big fence right here. Just blocking it off. Because they can wander down here and they can wander out of here. The, the, like, the issue isn't that the cows want to come in here. I don't, I, I don't think they'll fall in here is what I'm trying to say. So we should be okay. As long as we build this fence tall enough. I mean, like, really tall. This is not something I ha had foreseen. Now, I hope that there's not more caves that I just completely missed. I don't think there are, but we're going to have to obviously do a check. Because if we missed one this big, there's probably another one even bigger <laughs> somewhere. I don't think it necessarily has to be that tall. But this tall, yeah. Because, yeah, cows are not going to, like, wa they can't wander down any of this. And if they fall, they fall. You know, if we have to lose a few... For the greater good of the pack, the herd, I guess, of cows, and we'll be okay. Okay. So there we go. That that makes me a lot more comfortable. That's that's nice and blocked off. Now, lighting up the whole er area in here. That's going to be a project for another day. I don't have enough coal for that. Um, yeah, let me run around and make sure there's not any more like glaringly obvious caves that the cows can wander into. Okay, I went around, just took a little general survey of the area. No, there's not really any other glaringly obvious caves. I, I patched up two little tiny cave things, if you could call them that. They're technically not caves, but... Well, maybe they were. I didn't go too deep into them. But I think we should be okay. This is the only kind of scary part. Cows may end up going down there and then not coming back up. But if they do, they do. They're just as likely to wander over there and just hang out. So... We've got to get our cows from all the way over there to all the way over here. 
I think we're going to want to go down like somewhere that's nice and progressive. Um, do a three wide fence. Yeah, see this? This goes down somewhat nicely. Uh, it's a little... Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a long like fence, I just realized. So I don't know if we have enough fence to do this, but... We will try our best. And I don't know if we're going to leave this fence either. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. We're just going to do what feels right. Uh, but yes, going down here, it's like... I want to make it somewhat even. Just so that the cows don't get fooled. Because cows are not that smart in this game. They're just, they're just not that smart. And then we'll go around here and over to there. Okay, so let me build that. And it'll come back and we'll watch them meander their way over here. That We may end up using wheat. I think they may take like a few Minecraft days to even get this far. They they, they move pretty slow. Like if we watch this sheep, let's see how many blocks they move in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Wait, are we too far away for them to move? Well, as you can see, they don't. there's not much brain activity. They just kind of sit there and occasionally they'll spin around and... And look at you or whatever, but they don't—they don't move a whole lot, which is, you know, kind of the charm. You know, I'm not—I'm not, I'm not knocking them for it or anything like that by any means. But yeah, if this is a temporary fence, I see. Like, I don't even think we really need fence right there because they can't—they can't like go up this wall. So I don't really know why I'm putting fence here. Because I—well, the reason I'll tell you is because in case I keep this forever, you know, this is mob heaven, by the way. I mean, you can just straight walk into here at any point. So. We will we'll have to modify it a little bit if we're going to keep it. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Why did I... Oh, because I was going to play my YouTube video, but I'm recording. I got to pause it first. Dude, I think we're going to have, like, <laughs> literally just enough. Like, just enough fence. And we can avoid wasting a bunch of fence here if we were just a little more conscious. And all we got to do to fix this is just do that. And then we, and then we don't have an issue. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're going to have like just enough fence, like just enough. We'll kind of funnel them out here. Cause I know it's going to go a little bit crazy for a second. Uh, we want to break this first, then this, and then the floodgates are open, baby. Floodgates are open. Welcome to the CBC SOG version one, the cow the, the cherry blossom cow sanctuary of greatness. We got cow number one racing ahead here. Cow number one is is in the lead. Sheep, gray sheep number three is in the lead here. Come on. How did they already get out? How did they already get out? What's going on? Is this, this right here. See what I mean? It's just, oh, they already, they already got out. Okay. One, we have one escapee. I mean, I mean, you can't escape from something that's so, oh, do we have another one? Or is that just one of the sheep? Come on, guys. You don't want to leave. I spent so long building it. Oh, my gosh. They are slowly moving, ladies and gentlemen. The CBC SOG is in. Okay. Okay. They're clearly jumping out or something. What's going on here? How are they getting out of here? What is going on? We need to sleep. Yes, you're still in the lead, buddy. You, you should go a little further. Yeah. Yeah, bad. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 the sheep, we don't have that many sheep. We need to run far ahead and then sleep. Oh my gosh, look at me. Look how many times we've slept, man. Like, this has been, and, and I've, I've, this is like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So that's how many times I've slept so far. 100, 110 minutes. We, 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 we've been here a while. <laughs> Okay, they're really not going anywhere, if I'm honest. They've just... A lot of them are stuck in their ways, I think. A lot of them are stuck in their ways. I'm sticking close by, because I am afraid. I mean, like, I could get out of here if I jump, but they can't sprint and jump. Um, okay, so we got a cow in the lead. <laughs> Come on, I don't think you guys realize how great it is over here. You're making me sad. You're just, like, doing nothing. Got a couple, a couple initial guys trying to push their way out of here. Maybe I'll grab some wheat. I think I gotta grab some artificial uh, motivation here. I'm gonna hide it for a second because I'm not sure. Can they find a way out? No, they can't. Okay. I'm gonna gather up a bunch of them. 
Yes, okay. A AKA all of them, and then we are going to walk as a mass over to here. Come on. We're going, guys. We're going. Come on. I'm taking you to a better life. Why are they getting out? What are they getting out? What are they getting out? What are they getting out? Oh my gosh, a leak. It's a leak. Okay, well, if you guys get out, then you obviously don't want this cow sanctuary of greatness. You don't need it anyways. I feel like there's going to be so many more leaks, dude. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, no. Come on. If we at least get half of them, I'll call it a win. How about that? Oh, wow. We have like three of them. Well, come on, guys. Yeah. Okay. We need to go get some more. Hold on. It's going to be a process. That's that's for dang sure. It's going to be a process. I know you guys are looking around at the field. I know you want to go out of the go out to the field, but this is so much better. I'm going to walk crouched. I'll meet you guys later. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, well we still got gray sheep in the lead. I feel so bad for these guys over here that are stuck. But I don't really know what they're what they're expecting of me, man. I'm I'm just one guy. So they can step over here. Yeah, we just lost a bunch of our pack. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah, this may not be like... Okay. That's a bad one. They could just walk out of that. I need to make sure there's nothing else like that. I thought I was pretty good about it over here. I don't think they can leave right there. Um, there's nothing over here. This... Yeah, I guess they jump over to that one. I don't have any more fence. I hate how fence connects to the side. I get why it does. It just seems like are, are they gonna so they'll stand here and then will they like walk over? You can't walk over. They don't like jump. You know what I mean? They, they don't ever do that. I guess technically to fix this, we could just go one more. That doesn't fix it though, because then they'll stand here. Oh yeah, it does fix it. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at me thinking, thinking smartly. Smartly. My name is Lee, so that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Anyone? <laughs> I built this. I built this whole thing for you guys, and just, it just, there's just nothing. There's just no one here. This, this, wouldn't this be a thumbnail? Yes, yeah, just a, a path. I, it feels, it feels, I, I do feel genuinely bad for you guys. You're stuck out there. Maybe, maybe we'll let you in. Okay, how about that? Come on. Come on, you guys have made it so far. You can come on in. Let's go. We let everyone in the cow sanctuary. Okay, there you go. Now you're stuck. Enjoy. I'm trying to see some initial reactions, but it's, it's not that. Oh, he's like, I found, I found my new home. Okay, well. <laughs> Definitely a little anticlimactic. I'm not sure exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting them for to jump for joy and be like, "Oh my gosh, he's such a great world dude, creator, player." Why are you guys over here? What are y'all doing? Get out of here! Over here! Come on! These guys are crazy. I'm gonna lead them. Okay, so I made a plan. We're definitely going to take away this area because I feel like a lot of them... Because if you think about their pathfinding finding AI, they don't know what an open space is. And so they'll just kind of stay here forever is, for, is my understanding. So we definitely shouldn't leave this here because then they'll wander out over to here. And to here, to them, this is as big of an area as it is over there because, you know, it's like the length of this path. I mean, they don't see the whole length of the path. I don't know what I'm saying, okay? I'm basically just gonna, like, lead them a little bit, like, over to here, and then I'll kind of, like, boom, like, cut it off with fence so they can't go any further. Because, like, they'll just walk back over here, and we're just, like, not making any progress with them, and that's not what we want to do. So, like, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, okay? That's what we're gonna do. As little as that makes sense. I wish there was, a, I could, like, put the wheat down have them still be attracted to it so I could come in here and like block them off you know what I could do actually I could literally just build this go back a little bit go back a little bit and then no they're gonna get out right here but mmm they'll definitely get out there no 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 okay hold on okay okay 
I got I got him I got him like out so what we'll do is we'll take this fence and we'll just like boom we'll, we'll just cut it off and now <laughs> and now we've moved them like 10 blocks yay I'm gonna go eat lunch come back we'll see where they are after that I'll just like I'll make a house like this that way I can put a bed down if I need to sleep hopefully nothing will like hurt the cows while I'm gone I don't know what can but this is my home now. Okay, I'm never one to, to, to shy away from showing progress. We've made quite the journey. I This has been one of the more painful things I've ever done in Minecraft, I'll be honest. I'm not super enjoying it because they, like, crowd you. The cows crowd you, and then you can't move, and then you lose, like, half the bunch that you were pulling with the wheat. I don't know. I'll, I'll show you my, my method, though. It's obviously, the, like, like, the method's working pretty good. I mean, I'll be honest, like, they're pretty close to the sanctuary now. Closer than they've ever been to paradise. <laughs> it's not an evil laugh, by the way. It truly is paradise. It, I mean, for cows, man, like, this is the end-all be-all. So, we'll, we'll get them over here. I, I use F5 now, because otherwise it's, like, impossible to see. Just a little tip. You Use third person. I mean, Bedrock has third person. I don't know how to get in it, but use third person. And then you can, like... See the back cows. You know they're crowding me, and I can't, I can't move, and then I'm gonna lose the back cows. So you have to kind of like, it's like a pipe clog, <laughs> I guess. I don't know a better way to describe it. And you just kind of, I'm not even moving right now. They're just pushing me, which this kind of works, works in my favor actually. Uh, and then I, now I can't. Oh, 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 yep. Yeah, we're getting up. Come on, guys, let's go, freedom! Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure we do have a large, a large amount up there now, but yeah, their AI just takes a little bit of time to like kind of figure out. Like, I need to go back over here. I need to get these guys again. But it's so weird because, and then like they'll all update in a second and follow me, okay? And then they, it's like they, I guess they can't jump into each other, so I'm gonna have to do it like few by few. I think is the problem, which isn't necessarily a problem. It's just a little. Oh, no, no, no. Don't come back down the stairs. No, 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 no. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, w once we get to this point, we don't really get that many. But he he here's a good part, right? Here's a good part. We can shorten it every single time, right? So these cows are kind of... They get stuck in the corner, so I need to, I need to get them back over here. It's going to be dark. we got to get out of here in a second. Oh, let me out. Let me out. Come on, guys. A few more of you need to come up here. And then I'll switch away from the wheat. I can't jump. I can't run. I can't do anything. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're making decent progress, though. We're definitely making decent progress. Let's sleep real quick. And then I think I actually have a little bit of an idea here. I did go AFK when I ate lunch. It was a, it was a good lunch. I ate some leftover meatloaf. It was delicious. Uh, okay. So we're going to stand, like, over here so that way we don't get any of the animals that are over there. Cause there's not that many over here, right? And we just need to lead these guys away. But then, if you start to attract like what's over there, then you're in a world of hurt. Cause, <laughs> so I think we lost some cows already. It's okay. We'll just get a few more. If we have to lose a few, we have to lose a few. I'm not like really hurt by losing three cows. I know you're on your way to a sanctuary, but you did not listen. I feel bad. I genuinely feel bad when I kill animals in Minecraft. I don't know, like, I I don't know, man. It's just, it's uncomfortable, okay? Because they're, they're just like going, oh, they're not doing anything wrong. I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day. It always boggles my mind that I am sitting here, you know, in Oklahoma talking into a piece of metal, and somehow that makes these pixels into a video that, I then upload and people all around the world see and listen to me talk and you know I, I realize I can reach a lot of people and I, and I hope that everyone that I'm reaching is having a good day whenever this when you're watching this video 20 years down the line I don't know it'd be kind of cool if the video is still up in 2020 2044 but wait 20 2043 sorry but anyways I hope everyone's having a good time I genuinely do I think the world's in a little bit of a weird place after 2020. Or it, it, why are they not attracted to the wheat? Uh, the world has been in a weird place since, you know, 2020 ended. And I do hope that... I hope you're having a good time. And if you're not, just know that it's probably temporary. 
and it should get better. And if it's not temporary, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Um, okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep doing this. There's not really a whole lot left to film as far as like getting the animals up here. Uh, just because it's a process, to say the least. <laughs> We are getting quite a few right now, which is good. I just, I have to wait a second for them to kind of hop up. Yeah, actually we're gonna get a good bit here. We just can't go too fast, because only like, it looks like three can hop up at a time. Otherwise they just get really confused. And look, we just lost most of them. No? No, we're doing good. Yo, welcome to the sanctuary, guys. Yes, this is the sanctuary. I'm not trying to lead the other guys. I just want to get these guys away from that. So they'll quit going. I wish I could make a one-way gate. I could actually make a one-way gate. Okay, there we go. There we go. You guys. I want to see, like, what's the furthest an animal is traversed? See, could, they can get out, like, right there. Like, that is literally... They, they can literally just, like, walk right here and get out. So I need to be conscious of this. I am afraid... Oh, see, like this, dude? No. Oh, I may need to go around the entire fence. I feel like most of the time it happened, I was good about, you know, like making sure they can't get out. But when it was flat is when I didn't expect that to happen. Do we have any cows like stuck down in here? No, surprisingly, there's none down in there. Okay. Is there any like immediately obvious sort of issues around here? I don't think so. Yo, dude, they're, they're so happy over here. I mean, how could you not be happy being over here? I just like, oh, warm feeling, man. I think, oh, yep, see? I was proactive about it. No, I wasn't. <laughs> just need to, I just need to take that piece of dirt away and then it fixes the whole problem. Yeah, we should be good. I mean, there's no animals over here. Looks like that, that one right there is the furthest. There's bees, which is nice. Oh, anything over here kind of, kind of tricky, a little wishy-washy fallout. Nope. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, that's, uh, <laughs> that's not good. We'll take that out. There we go. Yeah, that's not good either. Why did I do that in so many spots? That's just not good. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to check the entire fence line for that because yeah, we, we definitely have missed a few of those. See like there, I was good about it, but like right there, like what, what am I doing? I could take away that. Would that fix it? It extends the issue over there, but not here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk the fence line. Dude, this place is is really freaking beautiful. Like, it looks so good. Like, this is just such like a like just 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 this picture right here. If we had a render distance set at 32, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Is that beautiful? I don't know pretty it's pretty gorgeous um but yes i i checked along the entirety of uh i checked along the entirety of the fence line we're good we're good they shouldn't <laughs> okay they shouldn't get they shouldn't get out anywhere that at least i can see I, apparently bees will still get stuck on fence i didn't know there's a thing we'll probably leave that there forever if i'm completely honest i'll just forget about it <sighs> but that's okay. It, it's it's this is such a big area that, that I, I'll let that go. I'll let that go. So I'm gonna go get the rest of the cows. Fence line has been checked. We're all secure. Yes, this was an over an hour long episode, but it's a big deal. The CBC SOG is nothing to joke about. CBC SOG. One word. Cherry blossom cow sanctuary of greatness. Don't forget it. Will you have one in your world? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of these guys. The ones that are up here, I know, are enjoying it. Okay, I just, I genuinely feel bad. You've, you've got to come up here, dude. <laughs> I feel, oh, uh, I feel guilty for the in-game, in-game animals. Okay, there we go. I am an animal lover. I do love animals in real life, so maybe that's why it translates to the game. I'm, I'm not really sure. I, my brain knows they're just an array of pixels, but somehow they still feel alive. Just good. The developers did good. Okay, so we'll bring them over here, okay? If only it was that easy in real life to herd animals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
That would make things so much easier if you could just hold a piece of food in your hand and the entire herd followed you and you just... That was it. Oh, things are going swimmingly, dude. We're, we're getting large swaths of them up. I, I realized if I work from top to bottom, things seem to work a lot better. So I'll come down here, you know, I'll, I'll grab, you know, a little bit. Because if you grab too many, I think therein lies the issue. Like, if I come over here and I try to get all these guys up here, it's just never, it's never going to happen. But, yeah, th th things are going pretty well here at Cherry Blossom Cow Sanctuary Greens. Well, we're back, and you know what time it is. It's a rainy daytime. Look at this. Look at this. This is the best rainy day ever. Happy cows. Happy Neo. Everyone's happy. All the animals are happy. I'm happy. I hope the viewers are happy. How can it get any better? Look at the lava. Even the lava's smiling. Maybe not, but maybe maybe that's a stretch. I don't know. Can we, is there is there such thing as smiling molten rock? I don't know. I try to get them far enough away from the entrance over there um, so that they don't, like, you know, crowd me when I get up the stairs. We're, we're making progress. It's just they do get stuck on the stairs a little bit. I literally giggled. I giggled out loud. I closed it off. We got all the animals in the Cherry Blossom Cow Sanctuary of Greatness. Now, granted, they haven't moved very far. But oh, oh, they will. I'm going to turn up my simulation distance to really high and I'll sit AFK and we'll we'll find out where the hot spots are. Now, luckily, you know, we can kind of coerce them. You know, come on, guys. Come over here. Why, why do they not care? Whatever. <laughs> they just don't seem to care. We have, you know, I, we have a pig uh, who thinks he's a cow. But yeah, no, I, I don't think there's really... A whole lot of animals far away from, which makes sense. I mean, it's only been like 30 minutes of doing this. But now that we have everything up here, we can remove that fence. And we can call this a win. We can call this, this is this is one of the greatest projects. Oh, no. <laughs> we already have to save a cow. We need to take those out of my inventory because I'm going to attract animals to the wrong place. Okay, we are going to save the cow. I don't know how you got there. Don't. Don't. Don't do... Okay, good. I was going to say, are you serious? Now, we do need to figure out some sort of entrance. We'll do that at some point. For now, we'll just put that and call that an entrance. For now, okay? I'm going to take away the rest of the fence real quick, and I'll meet you guys back when I'm done. Okay, fence is taken care of, and any of the uh, bad landscaping I did should be taken care of when the grass grows back. Okay, so... We have the cows here, and now the question is, what's next? I don't know. <laughs> I think I think this is enough for one episode. This was a large, large, large project. I'm very happy we got it done. It's cool to see, you know, it, it, over time, I'm sure it'll get even cooler when they, you know, traverse. We can go meet the, the western cows, and we can see if the western cows have it out for the eastern cows, and then we can... We start a cow war. We're not going to create a war between cows, okay? Maybe we could get a mod that lets cows have swords. <laughs> We're not doing that. I, I only can imagine what an army of cows could do. I don't want to. Yep, we got no cows over there. Yeah, I have a lot of these uh, pink petals. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them... Probably just going to put them in our house. I wish I could take a few things from over here, but eh, it, 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 it'll, it'll be okay. All right, well, back to the house. I'm curious if the bamboo farm was close enough to where we're working, where it was working. I don't know the answer to that. Now, obviously, we're going to have to, like, you know, breed these cows. We're, I, maybe the next project is a giant redstone wheat farm. Like, and I mean absolutely giant. We need a big, big, big wheat farm. Maybe do this whole field. No, I'm just kidding. It's it, it, it. We may want to build it off in the distance. I'm afraid it might end up looking a little weird. Um, or we could do it underground. But that would mean we probably want efficiency. So we'd need to build some sort of enchantment area sooner rather than later. We'll leave this over here. We'll we'll like make some stuff in there, like build in there and stuff. Just not right now. I am curious. How much bamboo did you produce? Because you were running for quite a while. 
Yes, you. So you he's talking about me? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. How much bamboo did you produce? Bruh. Two stacks of bamboo? Two stacks of bamboo? I should throw dirt at you. Two stacks of bamboo. It's been like almost two hours. You only made two stacks of bamboo? Dude, come on. Not cool, man. Not cool. Um, nah, it's okay if we let some mobs spawn. I'm going to put these in here just because I feel like that's appropriate. And then everything that's not related. Put in these chests. Okay. We're definitely going to need to get more wood pretty soon. That's for dang sure. It is super nice being able to stay organized. Like, that's always one of my more favorite things in Minecraft is being organized. Because then you don't feel overwhelmed when you open your chests and the likes. Cool. Okay, so now we could go remove those chests and whatnot. That way they're not all over the place. I do want to grab a few more barrels, I think. Yeah, look how many times I slept, dude. Jeez. Um, I probably want to grab a few more barrels. I don't know if we're going to use barrels or what we're going to do. We don't have enough wood to really, like, build anything. Um, okay, we have seven barrels plus whatever we'd have over there. We'll just bring the chest. We'll bring the crafting... Mm, yeah, we'll bring the crafting table. A couple slabs and fences. If we don't have any logs or anything. We do have some bamboo. Maybe we'd do something with that. I don't know. Just, just a little build over there so that the cows don't feel so alone. Ooh, you know what we do need? We're gonna need some ladders to get in and out of there. Should we make a real entrance, maybe? Uh, the only issue is that... No, 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 that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. We only have one enough for one fence gate. Because I don't I don't want a bamboo fence gate. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Now we have enough for five fence gates. There we go. Okay, that'll be a little better. Might want a little bit of extra fence. Yeah, just a little extra. There's already one in there. Maybe a door. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to go on over there. Some trap doors, a little bit of glass. Probably not going to want the glass. Okay, back to the CBC SOG immediately, where I said I wasn't going to build, but I have some inspiration, so we're going to do it anyways. Yeah, an entrance to this is going to be completely necessary. Um, we can use cherry slabs to get up to there. Only question is where we want to get up, or do we want to do some sort of bridge from the castle? That could be nice. That would be a long bridge. Let's think on that. That might be like a whole a whole episode project if we built a bridge that wide or that long. I don't really want to. They're just kind of a pain to build. Because if you build a bridge and it doesn't look good, then every time you see it, you're like, Ugh, it just kind of nags on you. Your brain gets all fizzled out. I think, honestly, just doing a staircase over here is probably the move. You can do something like that. For now, we'll just do... If you guys escape, I swear. Well, why would you want to escape? I mean, this is like the greatest place ever. Why, why would you want to leave? Um, put it like around here. Again, I don't know exactly what we're going to build. Just, just a little something so that we have a place to store our wheat and whatnot. Man, this is going to be nice. Uh, we need to figure out something for the supports. Although it could be a grassed roofed building. The roof would have to start one block off the edge here. We'd have to go up like this, up like this. That could be cool. It would take a minute for the grass to grow, but that's okay. Could be a unique looking building. And these are just these are just support blocks. They won't stay. Okay, hopefully, I built this to be an odd number so we can make a perfect triangle at the top. Actually, we don't. It was an odd number. We don't want that. We want it to be like that. There we go. So the grass will grow there, and then on the inside, you can take like for instance stairs, like this. We'll have to put some bamboo under there, and you'll still have plenty of room, but it'll feel cool from the outside the cows can jump around on it i'd say in that case everybody's happy everybody's happy okay come here stare okay <laughs> lost cause 
Rest in peace, stare number two. Why is he number two? I don't know. Okay, so this thing was odd. So this would go here. You can do boom, 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 and boom, and then boom. Uh, uh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay, cool. And then upside down stair there. Right side up stair there. Do we want? Do we want little, little, little airy channels in here? A little something. A little something for him. Mr. Sheep, you are you are in an inconvenient spot. Yes, you're in an inconvenient spot. This needs to be upside down. Boom, 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 boom. Aha! We have something. Okay. Uh, uh. Interesting. Okay. Kind of like it. It's very open, very airy. Then on the back side, <clears throat> um, since I kind of, since it's, it is kind of like an outdoorsy, outdoorsy build, maybe we'll do like an open, an open fence in the back. But the front is so fancy. The front is so fancy. Look at that. So nice. So nice. It would be cooler. Yeah, we could do that for a little bit more texture. It would be nice if we had some other material besides dirt. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, there we go. That works. I'd say that works. Um, probably just want to put a stair there. Yeah. Put a stair there. Okay. Yeah, any place there is a corner, we're going to put slabs. At least where we can't put, like, slabs around it like this. Why are you guys standing in the one spot? Get out of here, buddy. I built you a sanctuary so I don't have to deal with you being right next to me. There we go. Yeah, once the grass grows on it, it'll, it'll look a lot better, I think. Cool. Got a nice little hobbit build. The back is what's throwing me off, right? We, we, we're not, we're not doing that. Hold on. Let me copy what's on the back onto the front. There we go. It's not the same, but it's unique in its own way. And I think it looks really cool, actually. And then we could probably do the trap doors like that as well. And there we go. Now we got an area to store our hay that's nice and cherry blossom themed. I can't wait to find the mangrove swamp. I think that's what we're going to try to do the soonest next. I mean, we need a wheat farm to sustain this because otherwise they're, they're literally never going to have enough food. Yep, this works pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to use this as just kind of like a base of operations. Ah, see that dirt inside. That's where I draw the line. If there's dirt on the inside, then your build is dirty. You see what I did there? Those little corners, I can deal with. I'm, I'm not going to fret about a corner. There we go. And then we probably want light in here, so we can do them on the back side of stairs now, which is very nice. Eh. Uh, I guess you can't do it on you can so you can do a, a, a torch on the back side of a stair but only if it's right side up is the stair back there right side up no it's upside down then why can't I put a torch on the upside down stair right here I don't have any torches <laughs> oh, oh. that makes a lot more sense that makes a lot more sense the cherry blossom uh, cow sanctuary of greatness needs a hanging sign. We can't put it there. Where do we want to put it? Oh, it's not tall enough. It needs to be a little taller. We need actual wood. It's, it's, it's weird if it's all made out of the same thing. Uh, sure. You know what? Actually, this might be cool. Yeah. Sometimes when your materials are constrained is when you think of good ideas. Someone said you can hold down shift and angle them. Here lies the first day of CBC SOG with a heart. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha. We got something. All right. I'm going to go put some chests in here and then I'm going to, where do we want the chest? Maybe like right here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So just some things that we might need over here. I don't know if we'll need more bamboo, but the fence, 
We'll keep. We'll, that feels like an appropriate amount to keep. And the item frames. I don't really know. I mean, this is all wheat. I'm just going to go grab all the wheat. Or, no. What should we grab for? Oh, we need the bed in here. We definitely need the bed in here. Uh-huh. Now, it's a little bit of an uncomfortable sleeping position. <laughs> Hey, it's okay. Look, you get a nice view of what's outside because your head's glitched in the wall. But it's it, it's a beautiful view nonetheless, glitched or not. I like it. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go grab the stuff out of the chest over here. And then we're going to grab the stuff out of the barrel of wheat. And then everything. Has anyone crossed the threshold yet? I don't even know where it is. It's over here. Probably not. I thought those guys were all around the bridge. I was so happy. Everyone's just kind of kind of getting used to the place. Huh, yeah, you guys are not. I, I think those are the sheep and I think that's the sheep and the pig we saw initially. It'll be strange if they, they all stay in one spot, but if they do, it's not like the end of the world. I just, I hope eventually they, they get the guts to wander. I'm not gonna lie, this entrance, a little shabby. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's a little bit shabby, but we're, we can make it better. Um, at least temporarily. We can make it a little bit better. We'll just do a three row of stairs going all the way down. Now, I just had fixed this. Well, I say fixed. I had just made this to where it wasn't how we had it for the cows, but we had it perfectly dug out for a three wide staircase. <laughs> it, it's okay, though. It's really not that big of a deal. I just have to, like, you know, take away a few blocks here and a few blocks there. Not a big deal. But having a staircase up here will be much, much better. We could probably make it all the way to like, sure, right here, and then right here, we'll break it out, right here, add a block of dirt there. There we go. And then I do want to do some terraforming on the base, I think, before we end the episode. I say that now, we'll see how we feel in a minute. Um, just because there is some spots that have just bugged me since we started, and I really wanted to remove them when I was farming trees, but I was like, nah, I don't want to do it off camera. But I get a lot of good ideas just like playing. And I don't... I, I think it's kind of easy to tell if I'm enjoying a series by... It, it, am I playing it when I'm not recording? Because there have been series before where if I'm not recording, I'm just not on it ever. And I like dread getting on it. This one, I've just been like logging in, walking around, showing friends and stuff like that. And has it been like that so long? It's just so nice. Okay, we can't hold all the wheat. But you know what we can do? We can be smart about it and make it into bales. And then we can, yeah, there we go. It works. We have four crafting tables. Someone asked me in the comments, they're like, Neo, how many crafting tables have you made? And I was like, 11, LOL. And now I think I have m way more. I'm not sure where I got four crafting tables from. I, I, where, where did, what? Where did I get them? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't, we definitely need a crafting table in here. Uh, this should always be enough storage, you'd think. This is nine stacks, so it actually fits perfectly. Okay. Um, first CBG SOG babies? Yeah? You guys are... Oh, 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 oh. What's going on over here? Why are you guys in the corner? Come out! Over here! The, the, the AI is strange. That's that's what worries me is they may get stuck like these guys are doing absolutely beautifully. I mean look at them Look at them man They're doing great But the other guys I don't know what they're doing. I don't I don't know they're, they 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 like their corner Okay, they like their corner very very much um, We have this cobblestone and I was going to just take it as an opportunity to kind of line out this staircase a little bit because it seems to me like it was a little bit strange looking at it from when I was down there just because it was really flat now I'm not sure that that really oh yeah that just totally totally brings her home huh guys no, 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 I'm kidding. We'll, we'll put some, like, fence on it, some lanterns, do something like that. Nope, nope, nope. And that should help it out a lot. Now, people don't like cobblestone. I don't have a problem with cobblestone. What do you guys have against cobblestone? Is it because I've used it so for so long? I've used it so much. I only use it because it looks good, man. 
It's the OG block. One of the first blocks ever added to the game. It's the OG. There we go. Looks good. Um, what's he doing? He was coming down here for something. He's going to terraform? That's what I was going to do. We'll save that for another episode because I have a lot of spots I want to terraform. Okay, guys. Well, I really appreciate you all watching today's episode. More to come very, very soon. I don't know what we're going to work on next. And not because I don't have enough ideas. I have way too many. And I don't know which one to do next. I, we, we're going to need to go mining for too long. I think we'll explore, terraform, and... Oh my gosh, that's insane. <laughs> that is insane. At least, at least I can say I don't think anyone else has ever made a cow farm as big as I have. Maybe they have. They probably have. Everyone's done everything in Minecraft so huge now. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day. I did do the paths off camera. I don't know if I said that, but... Yeah, the paths are nice, but like this right here, blocking my nether portal, not like my favorite. I can just remove it. And then over here, I want to do that tiered kind of system where, where this is all on the same level. And then maybe there's a tier up there or, or maybe just have it go straight down from like that level right there. Like this right here, going straight down. That would be kind of cool to me. Well, anyways, guys, secret code for today's episode. You know what time it is. It's going to be. 3786. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Again, that's 3786. Did you know you can get you can get kicked from your single player world? Look. <laughs> like what? Technically single player worlds are running on an internal server. That's why it happens. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. 3786. Bye.